ever heard of rug pulls and honeypots? These are terms used to describe crypto scams that have been stealing millions of dollars from investors. In today's video, we're going to find out what exactly are rug pulls and honeypots and how to spot them so that you and your precious crypto don't get trapped. If you'd like to stay updated on all things crypto, make sure you click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok for all the latest crypto updates. Let's begin. What is a rug pull? A rug pull is a malicious scheme in which a bad actor takes away your investments from a liquidity pool. The term comes from the action of pulling a rug underneath someone so as to remove stability. While toppling you over, the scammer takes your crypto with them. This happens when an investor trades a token that they think might have some value. But in reality, the token is worthless. The developer has made it seem like it's worth something by hyping it up on social media. In 2020, when DeFi projects were taking the industry by storm, Compounder Finance had rug pulled its investors just 22 days after its smart contract was launched. It looked like a legit yield farming project promising high returns, but it wasn't as it seemed. Once enough money was in the liquidity pool, the developers pulled the rug, along with $11 million of various established tokens, including wrapped Bitcoin, Ether, and DAI. Within 24 hours, the compounder finance token price dropped 98.8%, leaving the investor with worthless tokens. The developer took the money and disappeared, never to be seen again. Now let's look at honeypots. Honeypots are crypto scams that allow investors to purchase tokens, but disable the selling of those tokens. The scammer would insert a coin into their smart contracts, which only permit certain addresses in their favor to sell the tokens. This then leaves the unsuspecting investors with worthless tokens. One way to spot a honeypot is when there are a string of buys on the token with hardly to none sales. The price chart usually shows a continuous uptrend baiting investors into buying it. Because surely, if the price keeps going up, the project must be good, right? Well, not exactly. Once the price has appreciated significantly, the scammer will begin to sell their tokens until they have none left. Eventually, the price will depreciate so drastically that the token becomes worthless and investors are unable to get their crypto back. While the tactics are different, the end goal of a honeypot scam is similar to that of a rug pull, tricking investors and stealing their money. So how can you make sure that you don't fall into a seemingly delicious honeypot or being rug pulled before it happens? Regardless of the type of scams currently trending, there are ways to avoid them. Here are eight tips on how to spot crypto scams like rug pulls and honeypots. Firstly, notice how the token is being promoted on social media. Does the developer use random and unknown influencers to hype it up? If so, that's a big red flag. Good projects do the advertising themselves because they have the means. They wouldn't need influencers to help them gain followers and a high encouragement rate. But if they do use well-known influencers, Check whether the influencers have promoted scams and rug pulls in the past. Number two, do a background check on the developer. Who are they? How many are in the team? How long did it take them to develop the project? If they are real people developing a legit project, they just wouldn't copy and paste a code. Instead, they would take their time to develop the project so that it meets the mission and vision stated in their white paper. Speaking of white paper, here's tip number three. Read their white paper thoroughly. Some good projects don't have a white paper, but that doesn't mean it's a scam. Just use another way to check their credibility. But if they do have a white paper, make sure that they include stats, diagrams, and how their token is solving a specific problem. Also, check whether it has been plagiarized from another project. If it has, then it clearly shows that the team didn't bother putting any effort into the project. Number four, check token distribution. If more than 20% of the tokens are held by one wallet, or if the top 10 wallets hold more than 20% of the tokens, it's most likely that it's a rug pull scam. You can check whether the token is hogged by whales via blockchain explorer platforms such as Etherscan or BSC Scan. These platforms, as well as honeypot.is, can also be used to determine whether a smart contract is a honeypot. If less than 50% of the coins are in a dead wallet, consider it a red flag. Number five, look at the liquidity and total value locked. Liquidity is the amount of value in tokens, while the total value locked, or TVL, is the total dollar amount of coins and tokens invested into a project. You would want to ensure that both the liquidity and the TVL are high. 
This would show that the developer has enough money to begin with and will be able to reward your investments. But how high? In the millions and billions, not tens of thousands. However, in some cases, even if a project doesn't have a lot of liquidity, it doesn't mean that it's a scam. Some credible projects have started off with liquidity that's in the hundreds of thousands. Number six, make sure that the project is audited. One thing you should know is that the auditing process is expensive. So if a project has successfully been audited, that means it has funds to begin with. Even if the project is audited, they can still rug, but the chances are significantly lower. Regardless, it's better to do your due diligence and read the audit. Number seven, check with online independent auditing tools. Rug Doctor identifies common rug pull techniques and informs the scams of their website. Token Sniffer compares a ton of tokens and how similar they are. If the tokens are 80 to 100% similar, then it's a sure sign of a rug pull. ES Check allows you to check if the liquidity is locked. If it's locked, it means that the developer will not be able to drain the liquidity pool. Last but not least, test it out yourself. If you can sell the token that you just bought, then it has the possibility of being a legit project. But start small and remember, don't put all your honey in one pot. And that's it. We hope with these tips, you'll now be able to spot a scam from a mile away and turn the other way. Have you been rug pulled or trapped in a honey pot before? Feel free to share your experience in the comments so we can learn from you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on all our socials for future alpha. See ya.